It says, For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Read that one more time. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place. Yeah. Go ahead. To punish the inhabitants of the earth. To punish the inhabitants of the earth. Go ahead. For their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Right. So that's what was going to happen. It's going to get it's going to get real, man. A lot of dead bodies. It's going to be it's going to get real because that uh martial law is about ready to kick off, man. Domestic security task force. These exercises cuz they're saying on a lot of these uh YouTube sites they're talking about uh if you live in region 3 of the uh what do you got? FEMA, FEMA, uh, we call it FEMA, uh, Region 3, which is, uh, up there in Mass. I think Rhode Island, that area. Good communication between the various agencies. That they're going to have Russian troops training out there. Testing the equipment. This gives us the opportunity. So it's going to get real in, 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 uh, Babylon. It's going to get real, real soon. What's, on call? So far, and ain't gonna be no game plan, man. On board. From Homeland Security are here. And we've had great then it shall be known who are my chosen, which means who are mine elect. Okay. Go ahead. I was just looking at that first part, Isaiah twenty six twenty one. It says, "For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place." Now remember that scripture where the Lord said, "I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge the offense." Good. Good. Yep, because <laughs> his place is up there in the heavens, but he's going to come out of his place. Right. And he's going to do damage. He's going to do work. Yep. It's going to be real. All you guys that are going around saying that you're Israelites and you really ain't, you, 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 you're wishy-washy, you change your, doc, uh, your, your, your doctrine every three months, most likely going to sweep you out of there, man. Yeah. Going to sweep you out of there, man. All right, where we at? Yeah, like the example of the Ezekiel, the fifth chapter, the first verse. You know, that guy that... The, yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself, Nate, and your men should be ashamed of themselves. Go ahead. This is uh, June 27, 2013. Uh, this is from um, a website, uh, what does, uh, what does J mean dot com something like that. Um, and the, uh, the article says, Obama requests 15,000 Russian troops... For upcoming disaster, an unsettling report prepared by the emergency ministry, Emercom, circulated in the Kremlin today on the just completed talk, talk between Russia and the United States in Washington, D.C., says that Obama regime has requested at least 15,000 Russian troops trained in disaster relief and crowd function, an example, riot control, be prepositioned to respond to FEMA Region 3 during an unspecified upcoming disaster. Yeah, and they're talking about October, the first week of October. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay? Let's see what's going to happen because it's going to get real. All right, where are we at? Go ahead. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and, and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on, on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them and they stood up upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the power of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Yeah, so it's coming, man. It's coming. What you got now? Let's get that right quick. No, no, no. Daniel 12 and uh, 3. Uh, Daniel 12 and 1. 
Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble to such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Shocking. And at but that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of... Yeah, that's the elect. We saw people Only the Israelites are, the, that are of the elect. Go ahead. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Verse 3, And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, o Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. You got all those different camps out there. Teaching and they're, and they're reading out of what? The Bible. They're breaking it down the right way, not the way the Baptists and the Methodists and the uh, Jehovah Witness and all these different groups are breaking it down. They're breaking it down the right way. So the book is being open. When is it going to be open? At the time of the end. So what's your problem, Nate? We don't know. It might be another 30, 40 years. There are no safe countries that have even the 14th state. street there is always a the guy from the 14th street israelite some sort he even and then he's backing off i noticed he's backing off from us and he's getting on uh lahab and all them guys he's talking about all the dirt that they did and you can't put my name in that because i wasn't involved in none of that man i ain't hold on to no money i ain't say well look give up i ain't i wasn't a part of that man right okay so you can't and then you even said even gms was right when they said and then you even got on Fred Sanford, man. Fred G. Sanford, which is uh, Adiala, the Sons of Thunder guy. You were getting on him heavy, man. And that's why you had to drive down by the camp. And you looked at us, and the spur had me look at you, and I pointed at you, and I actually smiled, man. Right. And I yelled out, I said, are you going out this winter? But, but it was like a smiling, joking, you know. Right. And then you had to smile. You tried to hold that mean face, but you had to smile. Then you got down the road, man. You right. ran the red light. Yeah. I didn't see you run the red light. Other brothers saw it. You yeah, said yeah. it. I don't know if they're making that up or not. Yeah. Oh, well, it's true. Okay, I didn't yeah, see it. Yeah. I didn't see it. But you r ran down the road like that <laughs> That ant in the car in the Orkin commercial. <laughs> when the Orkin guy... <laughs> Yeah. You looked back, it was a roach, and, and you <laughs> gunned it, and your head went back. That roach head went back, and you went, got on down the road, man. <laughs> I got it. I was wondering if I could use your phone. My car broke down a few blocks over, and is that Oak? I wanted to call my brother-in-law. What? Bugs run in, Orkin keeps them out. Don't just call an exterminator. Call an expert, the Orkin Man. He'll conduct a free termite inspection and help keep your home protected from termites and pests. Orkin, keeping pests in their place. Orkin, one in, roaches keeps them out. Don't call an exterminator. Whether it's roaches, mosquitoes, or Orkin, he'll protect your home from pests. <laughs> <laughs> and you looking like I'll be back, you know? Yeah, yeah, God. <laughs> hey, but it's, uh, uh, hey, because if you can't, if you walked out, you you you're probably thinking, yeah, if I walk down there, them guys would just jump me. We ain't jumping nobody, man. We're spiritual men. We ain't gonna jump nobody. Right. If we do jump you, we're gonna jump you with the scriptures, man. Right. We ain't gonna jump jump you, man. Now, if we go around y'all, y'all might jump us, <laughs> jump me. Right. Because we're spiritual men, man. Hey, the truth, there's a saying, old saying, the truth hurts, man. Yeah. Okay. All right, where we at? at verse four. Go ahead. It says, but thou, o Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many so why is the book being open? Because we're in the time of the end. At midnight, there was a, a cry heard. And then they, the, the virgins began to trim their lamps. So we in the end, man. Go ahead. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Yeah, now, man, you can, psh, man, you got a phone now. I got a phone, man. Yeah. But that that you can go on the web. Smartphone, they call it. You, you mm. can, yeah. It's called uh, what's it called? Uh, a smartphone or a. Uh,